Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of emotional contentment, feeling satisfied. Um, this is an energy of a wish coming true, something you've been hoping for, wishing for in love is finally coming into fruition with this card. Um, there's also an energy here of feeling very content with yourself, having that self-loving energy, feeling very emotionally independent and secure. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, Fixed Sign Energy. So there's, with the wheel showing up here, there's a change happening in your love life. There is a def definitely an energy of the tables are turning. Um, there is a situation where you may have felt like you gave more than you received. Um, with that Six of Pentacles, something may have felt out of balance. It may have felt like you were um, connecting in a one-sided way with someone. And with the Wheel of Fortune being here, it's like the tables are turning. Someone here is giving back to you. Someone here is being reciprocal in the way that they are um, connecting with you. And there's an energy of equal give and take, a stable balanced partnership here with the six of pentacles in fact there's an energy of you connecting with a very generous giving person here this person is going out of their way to give to you um, there is an energy of finding more fulfillment in your relationships so there's definitely a major change that's happening here in in your relationships in your love life um, I do see someone here who's very drawn towards you, someone who's very attracted to you, but it's like they, they're attracted to your mind as well. Um, there is something about someone who's very um, big on communication and having a mental connection first. Um, there's also an energy of initiating communication with you. Somebody wants to talk things out with you. They want clarity. They want to give clarity and they want you guys to get on the same page about something. Um, this can be showing someone who wants to make something up to you and they want to take accountability or own up to something. There is a, a very giving energy here and this is giving in terms of their energy as well as um, they could be giving you something like gifting you something physical, tangible, but there's also an energy of giving you something in terms of their word, um, being honest with you, providing you with clarity, truth, um, taking accountability for something, possibly even an apology here. But there's an energy of someone who is moving towards you with integrity and they're being honest with you. And this is a change that is happening. It's like in the past, this person may have been the complete opposite of that, but it's like the wheel is turning in your favor. So you're seeing positive changes here. Okay, so... And there is an energy of divine timing having been at play. So this could be something you could have waited a long time for. This could be someone you were very patient with. And it's like they're finally, they're finally seeing the light. They're finally coming around. They're finally maturing in how they deal with you. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups again, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So what is make, being made obvious to you is that the person that you are dealing with here is someone who is actually very happy with you. This person is very content with you. They're very satisfied with you. And there's an energy here of not wanting to look elsewhere. 
they have their they see their fulfillment in being with you they have that emotional fulfillment they are content with you um this person they have a lot of love for you and they want to prioritize the connection they share with you there is an energy here showing that this is a very independent person and so are you it's like you're both very independent people because you have the nine of cups here twice but there's an energy of wanting to um you know work together wanting to be interdependent with that six of pentacles so there's definitely an energy of putting in more efforts to make this connection a priority this is someone who wants you to feel loved by them and they want you to know that they are happy with you that you are the one for them that they don't have eyes for anyone else but you okay so let's see okay we have the emperor aries energy the hierophant taurus energy and we have the king of swords air energy so with the emperor there is again that energy of compassion stability um there's also an energy of someone who is initiating they're taking the lead in the situation i'm seeing this person is going to be the bigger person here they want to be more mature with how they handle this connection the hierophant is here which does speak about a lesson this person is learning they're growing um this person is learning from their past mistakes and they are wanting to do better they're gonna go out of their way to show you that they are starting to see things from your perspective as well um there's a strong spiritual connection with you and this person um there is with that hierophant this person feels like you guys are fated to be together they feel like you are part of their destiny in some way there's a strong pull and it's it's spiritual it's mental it's there is a lot of attraction here but there's this is a very deep connection it's a connection that can't be replicated with anyone else which is why we're seeing someone here who's seeing you as the one for them they don't have eyes for anyone else because this is a very unique bond and they do feel like it's a once in a lifetime type of connection um there is a very uh fated spiritual union here and with the wheel there that is also again it's it's spiritual it's it's um it's also kind of karmic in nature so this person does feel like you guys are fated to be together you're meant to be together um with the emperor there there is also a desire here to establish stability with you um this person wants to take this connection to the next level there is an energy of introducing changes to this connection and this is positive changes changes that will lead to stability and um making this connection more defined you know this is someone who's loyal to you and they want you to know that they are loyal to you that you have their loyalty but they want to commit to you with that higher fund energy this is someone who sees you as you know their ideal marriage partner they see you as the kind of person they would want to spend the rest of their life with the kind of person who has the qualities um that they would look for in someone that they would want to actually marry um there's also an energy of wanting to take a more conventional or traditional approach when it comes to this connection they want to do things properly with you they want to do things by the book there is an energy of in the past they were a bit scattered or they were taking an unconventional approach and it didn't work out so they do want to take a more um traditional approach with you the king of swords is also a card of communication so this person wants to open up lines of communication with you they want to establish boundaries so that this connection can be more defined this this is someone who's looking to commit to you they want to actually have that serious commitment the king of swords is also a card showing that they want to make the connection with you more official so this person is very serious about you this person they they really do um have a lot of love for you there's also a lot of respect to you this is someone who actually you inspire them to want to be better you inspire them to want to show up in their more divine energy um there's a there's this energy of wanting to be a better partner for you wanting to be there for you wanting to be loyal and held to as a higher standard okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um sagittarius So the card says you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer so i see this person as someone who's very protective of you um this person cares about you they want you to feel safe they want you to feel 
like you have they have they have your back this is the kind of person because we have the emperor that is someone in their divine masculine energy regardless of their gender but you'll know this person because this is someone who's very protective of you they care about you they they want to make you feel safe they are there for you they want to be more reliable to you they want you to feel like you can depend on them okay so there's also an energy with the cancer energy of their being this is someone who you feel comfortable with and it's mutual. They also feel very comfortable with you. They feel like they can be themselves with you. They feel very, there's almost a feeling of familiarity, like something about this connection. There could be a past life energy here, but this is someone who, you know, you, you, there's this comfort between you and them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says past life relationship you have known each other before so there's definitely something about a past life connection here it's a fated union um this person feels this they feel like there's something very special about this connection they feel like it, it transcends the 3d and even if they don't align with those terms like past lives soulmates twin flames um you know they, they, even if they don't align with those things they feel it intuitively they, they feel like there's something more to this connection they feel like this is a, a connection that's part of their destiny there's some sort of alignment about it and there's something that you know this person can't let this connection go easily they feel it very spiritually you may even have um meetings in the dream world like this person could dream about you they feel like you guys are very connected and you are in each other's energies Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says tulip, friendship and gratitude. Let us be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Okay, so this person really does feel comfortable with you. There's an energy here of the, the, there's comfortable communication. This is someone you can really just be yourself with. There is also an energy of you guys have a friendship foundation as well. There is a deep soulmate connection here. Um, this is someone where there will be feelings of safety. There's also a feeling of being very thankful to have met you. This is someone who's learning to be more appreciative of you. There's, they're very much aware of your good qualities and they want you to know how valuable you are to them. Um, there is an energy of wanting to really nurture this connection and not take it for granted because this is someone who is coming to terms and realizing that they can't get this kind of bond anywhere else. You know, there's an energy of no one else can replicate this connection that they share with you. So this is someone who wants to take this more seriously, make this into something more. They want to commit further to this. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.